everybody, it's Paige. So today's video is going to be a declutter video. Now, this was a long process, so I separated separated it out into three parts because I had like so much footage, like and these are still really, really long videos. So I basically I decluttered my Alex 9 drawer unit, which contains my skincare, hair care, and body care. I guess is what you would call it, like lotions body sprays, self tanners, things like that. So I decluttered it and I edited it into three parts. So I'm doing this little intro really quick just for the first video and then I'm gonna film separate intros for the other two videos. So I hope you all enjoy. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already and you would like to be, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and then also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and if you want more declutter videos. I'm thinking about decluttering my makeup collection next. So let me know what you think in the comments and yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so like many of you, I have the Alex 9 drawer to store my hair care and skin care and as well as my Lush products. I'm planning on getting another one to place right over here and then I'll slide this one over. We measured it and two will fit perfectly and then I'll have my makeup in one and then my skincare, hair care, and Lush stuff in the other one. But right now this is bursting at the seams so we need to go ahead and declutter this to make room for some new stuff that I just got. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off with this top drawer and I'm going to angle the camera so that you can see it a little better. Okay, so this is my first drawer. This is mostly cleansers as well as some makeup removers and then my solid perfumes from Lush. So I'm going to try to be as ruthless as possible, um, but I'll still probably be keeping a lot because I do love trying these products out and I haven't tried a lot of these out yet, but let's just go for it. So the first product is this Alba Botanica Acne Dote Face and Body Scrub. I just got this from Influencer, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this. Then we'll start from the back. I got this Pacifica Natural Beauty Kale Detox Deep Cleansing Face Wash. I have not tried this yet, and I really want to. I've really been into Pacifica lately, so I'm going to be keeping that one as well. Same with this. This is the Ula Ola, oh, I don't know how you say it, Ula Hendrickson uh, Dry Sensitive Skin Balancing Cucumber Face Mist. Misk, mist. Um, I do not have dry or sensitive skin, but this was at TJ Maxx for like just like a couple bucks, so I had to pick it up. And I have just only used this a few times, and I love it actually. So I will be keeping that one as well. Then we've got two more big cleansers back here. So this one is the Benzac Acne Solutions Skin Balancing Foaming Cleanser. I'm going to be decluttering this. I used a whole entire bottle of this, and this one is brand new, so I'm going to declutter this. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it, but as you can see, I have plenty of cleansers to try, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one and see if someone else wants it. And then we've got the Nukes micellar foam cleanser for the face with rose petals and i absolutely love this so so much i love nukes i'm so sad they're like pulling out of the united states and i think you might be able to still like buy their products but it would be overseas and yeah it makes me really sad and i love this product and i'll be keeping it <sighs> okay now we've got some mini cleansers um this is like stressing me out so we've got this little tart one. This is the friction stick. I have not tried this yet and I really want to, so I'm going to keep that. As well as this Clinique Pep Start 2-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. I'm not sure if this is focusing. I'm going to keep that. <clears throat> I'm also going to keep this Clinique one. Um, I love this cleanser. It's a nice mild cleanser and it's great. And this is a full size. Um... Gosh, this is, okay, this is the e.l.f. Zip Zapper. I'm going to get rid of this. This is basically just a salicylic acid, like, acne solution kind of thing, but this is really old, so I just need to throw that away. Okay, <clears throat> then we've got this Biore uh, baking soda 
face acne scrub, so I'm going to keep that. I have not tried that yet. Also, this Kate Somerville Exfoliate I'm going to keep. Same with this Soap and Glory Face Soap and Clarity Vitamin C Facial Wash. I really do enjoy this. Okay, let's see. Um, so, I actually think I'm going to keep the rest of these. I'm just going to go through them. This is the Formula 1006 Face Best Face Forward Daily Foaming Cleanser. And then I've got two of the uh, First Aid Beauty. These are like the red clay. Um, this one's like almost empty, so I'm going to pull that out of this drawer so I can use it up. And then this one is brand new, so I'm going to keep that one. This one, after I finish the one I'm using currently, which is almost gone, I'll throw this one in there so that into my shower caddy so that that one will be done with. And then we've got the Sunday Riley, Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Clay Cleanser, which I have not tried. And I have not tried the Milk to Foam Coconut Milk pure mild cleanser either so I'm gonna go ahead and put those back in here all the little ones back in here okay so it really you can't even really tell a difference as far as that goes so now I'm gonna move you over to this little other portion so here I've got these little silicone things I have three of these total and I do not need three so I'm going to sanitize these and declutter them then I've got this Neutrogena like face sunscreen and this is definitely expired so the SPF is probably not good anymore so I'm going to declutter this and then these are the Tarte Guard mini samples. I'm going to keep both of these. I have not tried these, but I really want to, so I'm going to do so. And then we've got the Coconut Oil Kapari Coconut Mini Melt. This is really cool. I got this in a Play by Sephora box. And it's like basically just pure coconut oil. And yeah, it's like free of everything. And I've heard really good reviews of this, so I'm really excited to try that. I just keep it in this box because... It's kind of oily and I don't want it to get into the drawer. And then we've just got some makeup removers. Um, this one, as you can see, I'm getting pretty close to it being gone. So I'm working through that one now. And then these other ones, this is like a little mini one. This is a micellar water that I'm going to keep as well as the Sephora one. And then I've got the big... Um, Clinique one and then this one here is a toner this is again formula 1006 and I'm gonna keep this I just finished up my big toner so I'm really excited to try this finally so I'm gonna put everything back in the drawer and show you the after product Okay, so this is the after product. I know it doesn't look that much different, but it actually, like, I can tell there's a lot more free space. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next drawer. This one is a freaking mess. So this one has to be dealt with. So I'm going to start off, I don't even know where to start. I'm going to start with these big ones. This is the Jurgens Natural Glow, which I will be keeping. Not sure if this is focusing. Sorry if you can see my laptop and stuff. I don't know how to like, it's gonna be in the frame no matter what, but. So I'm gonna keep this Jergens one. Sorry, I got a little distracted. Then we've got the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. This is a backup for the one that I just finished, so I'm gonna keep that. Then we've got the Exuviance Night Renewal Hydrogel. This is amazing. I love this. I highly recommend Exuviance. I've tried two of their products and I love both of them. And then I'm also going to be keeping the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Okay. So these right here are all like little sample things that I need to go through. So, um... Uh, oh wait, here's a, another full-size moisturizer. This is by Giovanni. I have the mask which goes to this line and it's amazing. I have not tried the moisturizer yet, but I'm really excited to. Okay, so now uh, what should I do first? I think I'm going to take this out for a second. 
and then go through these and I'm just gonna speed through this I'm gonna do like a, a keep pile and a get rid of pile so let's just go ahead and speed through Okay, so I know this still looks like a freaking mess, but these are the ones I'm going to declutter. This is a Juice Beauty little cleanse treat, moisturize trio, and then we've got some bl Bloom or Blum Naturals. These are like um, cleansing towels for your face, and then I've got this little, I used the first step already, but this is the Clinique, um, Clarifying lotion and moisturizer and these are just I have full sizes of these products so I just don't need those samples, so I'm gonna get rid of those and then This little sample of bioderma. I'm actually gonna put back in this top drawer Whoops, I just dropped the card. So I'm gonna put these little guys like somewhere um, so that I remember to use them because when I go for something like that, this is the drawer that I come to and then uh, This is just the little card which I don't need because I know how to use my cellar water So I'm going to kind of like move that up there to get rid of something from this drawer and then <clears throat> These lip masks shouldn't be in this drawer. They should be in the bottom one So I'm gonna save those for that drawer and then these are all the ones that I'm keeping just mainly like Like ones that I have not tried or that I know I like like these I've never tried um, This I'm so excited to try I hear such great things about this product, so I can't wait to use that um, You know just some fresh Clinique uh, what is that? First Aid Beauty, Pores, Philosophy, Glam Glow, and these little makeup remover wipes, so that looks a little bit better. And then this little guy back here, these are hand sanitizers. I just got these new ones, so these are in a different packaging. I got Noir, Suede, and Hollow, it's me. And then I also just got these little car inserts for my little car scent thing so I have like so many of these hand sanitizers and I've been trying to work through them which is what I'm gonna do I might do like a little project with these like a project pan type thing because I have too many hand sanitizers and I need to figure out what to do with that but I'm not gonna declutter anything from that for now at least and then okay now we've got this so I'm probably gonna have to separate this out into parts because there's nine drawers and there's no way that I'm gonna be able to put this all in one video so I'll probably upload them like pretty quickly but I'll do like decluttering my skincare hair care Alex nine drawer part one part two and we'll see if I need a part three but uh oh my dogs are barking okay we're good so I'm just gonna go ahead and just just breach in so this is the Tucker Ashley perfecting moisturizer I tried this and I didn't enjoy it so I'm going to be decluttering this then we've got okay here are some Josie Marin ones that I want to keep these are the surreal skin argan finishing balm those are both the same product and I have not tried that yet but I'm really excited to so I will be keeping those then I've got this Murad invisible invisibler perfecting shield and I've heard great things about this so I'm definitely gonna be keeping that this is the Estee Lauder day where I'm actually <sighs> I have used up like kind of a lot of this I don't know if you can tell but I'm going to like try to use this up so I'm gonna take it out of this drawer and then use it like every day until it's gone and so that way it'll get into my empties faster and then it'll be gone from this drawer so let's see we've got this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I have the full size of this, so I don't think I need this one. So I'm actually going to declutter this. It is still, like, completely full and new, so I can give that to someone. Okay. Um, 
These are the Belief the True Cream Aqua Bombs. I'm going to keep these. I've heard great things and I have not tried them yet. That's like a common theme with my skincare products. Like I've heard great things but I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> these are the Benzac Blemish Clearing Hydrators. I don't need two of these. Um, I don't know if either of them are used, so let me just like look and see if I can tell. I don't think either of them are used, so what should I do? Should I just get rid of both of them? I'm just going to get rid of both of them. I don't need them. Whew, this feels great. Okay, this is my hand... SHIT. Um, this stuff I got when I was in Idaho and I just like thought the packaging was freaking adorable so I had to get it and it smells like sweet pea lilac and it's delicious so I'm definitely going to be keeping this. This is like a hand one but it didn't like really go anywhere else so I just stuck it in this drawer so maybe I can find a new home for this so I'll set that aside for now. Then we've got the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whip Whipped Cream, and I definitely want to try this, so I'm trying to get it to focus. I definitely want to try this, so I'm going to keep that. Um, okay, these Clinique products I'm going to keep. This is the Pepstart Moisturizer, and then this is the Pepstart Eye Cream, so I'm going to keep both of those products. I'm going to keep this Laneige water sleeping mask because that's like so cool. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep this Ula Hendrickson, what is this, Sheer Transformer Facial Cream as well as this Glam Glow Nude Glow, what is this, um, Illuminating Moisturizer. Okay, let's see, let's see. I'm going to keep these Caudalie products. I've got the eye lifting balm and then the moisturizing sorbet so I'm going to keep those I'm going to keep these hey honey products I've got the open your eyes eye contour lifting fluid as well as the honey silk facial serum the good morning honey silk facial serum then I'm going to keep all these Josie Marin products I've got some oils as well as this whipped face butter so, yep, keeping those. This Skin Iceland Cooling Daily Lotion, I'm going to go ahead and declutter just because I don't really have much of a desire to use this. And it's new, so this one's going goodbye. Then we've got this Abriva, which I'm keeping just in case. I don't ever really get cold sores. I think I've only gotten one once, but my mom gets them all the time. So I should probably actually give that back to her because this stuff is like really expensive. <laughs> then we've got this little like waxing stuff that like gets the wax like not sticky anymore. This is by Sally Hansen, so I'm going to keep that. This Nukes um, moisturizer I'm going to keep. This is the 24-hour soothing and moisturizing cream. Then let's see what we've got. I'm going to keep this Peter Thomas Roth as well as this Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. Um, these are like products that like I like I would never buy a full size Peter Thomas Roth product because I couldn't afford it. At least not right now. So this is a way for me to try the products without having to pay a ton of money. This is the Estee Edit Late Night Eraser Brightening Eye Balm with Pink Peony. I know this is discontinued, but I actually got this for free from Influencer. So I definitely want to use this up since it was the opportunity was handed to me. And um, I think I'm going to keep the rest of this. This is just the e.l.f. Eye Refreshing Pen thing. These are some Lancome smoothing and glow boosting liquid cares as well as this Dior what is this dream skin and then I've got this Clinique turnaround overnight revitalizing moisturizer and then the L'Occitane I think is how you say it this is the precious cream I guess is what it's called so I'm going to be keeping those so now I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in this drawer and I'll show you what it looks like
Okay, so this is what the final product looks like. This looks a lot better. I know I still have a lot of stuff, but most of these are mini products that I can get through pretty quickly as long as I actually use them. So I'm really excited about this. I can really like see what I have and it's a little bit more organized. So now I'm going to move on to the next drawer. Oh, goodness gracious. Whoa there. Oh, goodness. So I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit for this one. So this is my face mask drawer. This is stressing me out. So this product I got from TG Maxx to do like a video on because it was literally, oh, it's Marshalls. I got it for $1.49. And this is the Collagen Crystal Facial Mask. And I think that's so cool. And it's got like glitter all in it. So I might do a video on this. And I just thought it was really cool. So I'm going to be keeping that for now. Okay. <laughs> what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, so... I'm just going to start with this basket. So these two Tammy Fender products, I've got the Epi Peel and the Neroli and Orange Antioxidant Cream. I'm going to declutter both of these because they are old and I used up most of them and they were amazing, expensive products and these were like sent to me for free. So I really appreciate that Tammy Fender, but it's time to let these go. Then we've got this Detox System Purifying Facial Mask and I absolutely love this. This is by Giovanni. That's what the the moisturizer that I showed you is by. It's the same like line of products and I love this stuff. I got it for TJ Maxx a long time ago. This is probably expired but I'm going to keep it until I find a new one and so that I can buy it. So keeping that one. This, oh wait, I'm not, okay. <laughs> okay, actually I'm just going to do this because I definitely want to get rid of this. This is the Dirty Works Vitamin C Brightening Mask. This stuff is like, like, ew. Like, it smells bad, it looks gross, it was really cheap from TJ Maxx, and I didn't notice any difference in my skin, so I'm just going to throw this away. I tried to force myself to use it up, but I just, I just couldn't do it anymore, so I'm going to toss that. Okay, now, these Sephora masks. These are all one-time use masks and I will be keeping these. I just used this one recently for the first time and I loved it so that motivated me to use these more so I'm going to keep those four. And then I'm also going to keep my three L'Oreal Pure Clay masks. I have the charcoal one, the like eucalyptus one, and then the red clay something one. Um, I got those sent to me for free and I love those so much. It's like a customizable face mask. So I'll be keeping those as well as this Exuviance purifying clay mask. This is awesome. I love Exuviance. Thank you so much for sending that to me. And no, and like honestly, like I do love this. Like I would, I would tell you if I didn't, like there's no ties to me saying if I like this or not. Like it's just a really good mask. I'm not even sure what the price point of this brand is because I haven't really looked into it. Then we've got the Pure Lease Blue Lotus Seed Mask. I'm going to keep this. Let's see if I can get it to focus. I'm going to keep this as well as the Be Fine Cucumber Facial Mask. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this. This, like, burns my skin, even though it says, like, fragrance-free, allergen-free, and whatever. Like, this burned my skin when I used it, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to keep this Glam Glow Youth Mud. I have not used this. I'm really excited to use it. And then I'm also going to keep the Formula 1006 Poreless Bee Pure Skin Clarifying Mud Mask. I'm a fan of mud masks, if you haven't been able to tell. Mud and clay masks. Okay, this, this is really cool. These are Oxygen Bubble Sheet Masks. I have the e.l.f. Oxygen Bubble Mask, and I also got this from Influencer. <laughs> Shout out to Influencer. You definitely should, like, sign up for it if you aren't already. You can get sent free stuff, and it's pretty freaking awesome. You don't have to pay any money because it's free, and... It's like great. I've gotten so much free stuff and you don't have to have a big social media following. So definitely check it out. I'll have it linked in the description box to where you can sign up. Um, and I get no money by you signing up. Uh, so this is, it's a bu bubble mask and it's a sheet mask. My grandma actually bought me this and I thought that was like so cool of her because like, 
this is such a trendy product and I don't even know if she knew but uh, shout out to grandma for these awesome masks I haven't used them yet but I am looking forward to it then we've got all of these Freeman masks I have got five of them and I will be keeping five of them because I love them so so much let's see and they're affordable so I, they're around like the five, four, five, six dollar range, I believe. So if that's affordable to you, then I highly recommend these because you get a lot of product. And I've used these several times and I'm not even close to finishing any of them. So I'm just going to go through the ones that I have just because. So I've got the Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel Away Clay Mask. I've got the Dead Sea Minerals Anti-Stress Mask. I've got the Facial Clay Mask, the Chocolate and Strawberry one. I've got the Coconut Glow Leave-On Bronzing Mask. Let's see if I can get this back in there. And then I've got the Pomegranate Revealing Peel-Off Mask. And I love all of those. They're all fabulous. So now there's nothing else. Oh, wait. What is this? Oh, that's a, one of those. So the only thing left I have are these like uh, face masks, like sheet masks and stuff and these like eye masks and little eye patches so I'm gonna like speed through this part and show you what I end up with. Okay so the only little sheet masks that I'm getting rid of are, well these are nose ones, these actually go to this little packaging, I got these at TJ Maxx I think, um, but I did not like these. I have the Target ones, the like up and up brand inside of here which work a little bit better, still not the best but I use those like pretty frequently. Hey so sorry if the frame changed, my camera cut me off right as I was talking because um, I reached like 30 minutes on my camera, so I guess like that's um, how long my camera will let me record. I've never <laughs> recorded that long before, so I didn't know that, but I caught it pretty close to where I was. So like I was saying, um, I use these pretty frequently. These are the Up and Up brands, which are a little bit better. They're not the best, but I still enjoy those. And then, so I'm going to declutter those two black ones, and then this is the... Peach Beauty Treats Oxygen Bubble Mask, and I used the other side of this, but I, I just already have a bunch of Oxygen Bubble Mask, and I don't need this one, so I'm going to declutter that. It's good, I just, like, don't need it. And then this is a chocolate mask, and since I have the strawberry chocolate one, I don't need this one, and I don't like how much product is in here because it's way too much for one application and then it like I just feel like it like you can't save it unless you put it in a Ziploc bag but then it gets just kind of gross so I'm just going to declutter this one it wasn't very expensive I think I got it from like Walgreens or something so I'm decluttering that one as well so this is what the drawer looks like at the end. The thing about these is I can get through these really fast because they're literally like one time use sheet masks so like I could get rid of those in like two weeks, but uh, if I used one every day. So that's like, I'm not too worried about this drawer. And then I'm just going to stick my big one on top so I can do a video on that. So that is my face mask drawer.